Tuesday and we've got three fun little ice lollies for you today. Drawing's really simple, but we really want you to go and design with this. So take it off, take our really brief, simple ideas that we're gonna show you, take it off and create something magnificent. So let's get drawing. <music> So we're going to do our three lollies on the page. If you want to do more, absolutely go for it. Fill your page with lollies. And what I want you to do is to just work out where you want your first one. The first, they're all actually different sizes. So the first one is quite a bit thinner. So I'm just going to go probably about there. Just put a little curved top there. And then take two straight lines really lightly because I'm going to end up rubbing this out. This is going to be my twister. Straight down like that and then a curved bottom so that's our first one in easy peasy and then the next one here at the side uh, take it to about there but the, here just bring it out a bit so thinking that between the shapes you've got some there's a difference between there and there so we want it to be wider at the bottom and we're going to take this one in as if it has been bitten so we've got coming up like that Although who bites like lollies, really? Mm. Um, and then coming around here like that. And down, finishing that one there. And the third one, I'm going very conventional here with a conventional ice lolly shape. Sort of slightly thinner at the top here, as if it's been made in a fridge and those old fashioned ice lolly things. That's how I used to make ice lollies. Coming down like that. Take it out slightly on either side and then curving it round at the bottom. So that's the three basic shapes which will form the lollies. So if you get your three shapes in, feel free to adapt and change. And let's, on the next bit, we're going to put in the lolly sticks. And I want them to, this one to come slightly up above here like that, just two lines down and a curve. This one's going to come under its curve like that. And this one will go over. So we're creating a little design really. Quite like the idea of that as a little designy piece today. So there's the three sticks. And then what I want to do is to put with each of them just a little line as if we've got a little filling inside that you can see. So this is one that's with like those fruit ones with a bit of ice cream in the bottom here. And this one is for Elizabeth, it's a big feast. A brilliant ice, ice lolly, I think we can all agree. Okay, coming round like that. So if you pop in the three sticks, and then if, if that's what you fancy doing, put that on those. If you want to do your own ice lollies, then start building up the design. Right, I'm, I'm going to do this middle one here as a twister. So I'm going to come in with a little shape there and then round here. And then what I'm going to do is on each side, I'm going to bring it down in a kind of curve. One, two, three. And I'm going to do that all the way down. One, curve it out. and all the way down to the bottom. I'm now going to use some watercolour pencils to paint this and play with some watercolour pencil effects. But if you are going to do it with um, felt tips or pencils, you crack on with your colouring. Make sure you create your own designs. I'm just going to finish it off here as if it's got a bit of ice cream in there. Um, so you create your own designs and uh, make it into your own and please make sure you send them to us because we love seeing them. So I'm going to do this with watercolour pencils and I'm just going to have some fun today with them. Um, here we go. So we've got a bit more of a challenge tomorrow with our um, TARDIS and some different watercolour washes. So today I really want to have a bit of fun and enjoy playing with the pet watercolour pencil. So all I'm going to do is 
go in with, I'll put a bit of the pigment here and there, I'm not putting it all over. I take my brush and just turn each one to paint so that the outside really shows up. And I've got a slightly interesting effect with different strengths there. And then I'm gonna come, this one, I'm doing this one as a kind of strawberry fruit one. And I'm gonna go quite hard on the, on the red to really get the pigment down. So if I went soft and gentle, you can see how hard I'm pressing there. I really get, want to get the pigment down. And then I'll use a big brush because it's so easy then to change it. And you see, I'm picking up, I'm really getting in there with my brush, picking up that paint pigment and turning it. I can actually see it just resting on my brush there. And it's just an easy, you could just, you can do this with your paint washes. The watercolour pencils just make it quite um, mess free, really, in a lot of ways. There we go. And you can get a good sharp edge with the pencil as well. So I'm going to just leave that one to dry for a second. I'm going to come on to here. And I'm going to do that bit, turn it, and then I'm going to come on to the chocolate one at the end. Now, the reason why I'm going to leave that, I'm going to leave that to dry for a minute while I come on and do this. It doesn't take long, but if I go straight in with the yellow now, it'll all bleed into each other. That's what paints the paints do. So what I'll do instead is I'll come over here and I'm going to go right round it with a darker brown, like a burnt umber brown here, like that. Colour half of it in and I'm going to do the other bit in. I'm going to put another brown in here just so that it just mixes it up a little bit and if I get my big brush again and you'll see I often just wipe it the brush on my hand it's just to make sure that there is I want water on my brush but I don't want it absolutely dripping one of the reasons for that is that it takes ages to dry and um, I'm quite impatient and I just don't want it too wet because I want it to be quite heavy pigment rather than a big wet wash in this. There we go. And I'll just go around like that. And that's it all turned to paint there. And if I come back here now, I'm going to take my yellow. I'm going to start going around the yellow bits. So I've got the... Oh, dear. I might just use a different yellow. I'm going to use a kind of lemon yellow instead which actually is the right colour. So that was a happy accident. And I'm just going to go around these. I'm going quite heavy on this now. If you're interested in getting some of these pencils, they are um, available on our online shop and you just have to go onto the website and um, onto our website, The Little Art School. And if you look up the shop, you can see that you can buy these with the paper because you really need the paper to get the best effects out of them. Oh, I'm being far too heavy with my pencils. I always have my handy pencil sharpener here. There we go. Just finish it off a bit there. And around there, at the top. But I want to avoid going too near, whoops, too near to that, um, that bit of red, because I don't want it spilling everywhere. So I'm gonna do the yellow first, then clean my brush. Then come back and I'm going to turn the green. Now a really quick and easy way of painting with these. So make sure you do your favourite lollies. You could add more to the design. You could create lots of different designs. And do make sure that you send them to us. We'd love to see them. I just realised, Elizabeth and I realised straight away that we've forgotten a little bit. So I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to put a bit of ice cream at the bottom just with a touch of yellow ochre. A clean brush. Turn that. And a bit up there. And a bit there. And now we really are finished. hope you really enjoyed that. And I hope you've created something that is very much about you and your lollies and the lollies that you love and um, make sure you send them to us we love seeing them instagram twitter facebook little art school 
pop them in the comments and then we can um, see them and share them with uh, everybody else that follows us, all the thousands and thousands of people now. Um, so we love seeing your pictures. Tomorrow's Wednesday, Wednesday's fun day. We've got something really special for you. We asked for requests and one of the requests that's come in quite a few times actually is Doctor Who. So we're going down with the TARDIS and a Dalek tomorrow. Join us then. Thank you.